we're back to baking now. This time we are making chocolate chip cookies with a twist. If you love those after dinner mints and you love chocolate chip cookies too, well, we're combining them. This is Suzanne Clark from livingacreativelife.net. What are you making today? Well, today we're going to make a chocolate mint cookie, kind of like in, in a special little way. Little I know. This is different. Mm -hmm. This is really different. Okay, where are we starting? Well, first of all, we're going to start off with a basic cookie dough recipe. And in my mixer, I have already creamed two sticks of butter um, and their softened butter, some uh, brown sugar, three quarters a cup, three quarters a cup of regular sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and two eggs. All right, That's so it. you've already put that together. We have the recipe, of course, at livingacreativelife.net. Um, you've got your butter in there, like you said, the sugars, all that. We've creamed that all together, and now we are going to add some more ingredients. Yes, we're going to add our dry ingredients, and this okay. is important. A lot of people skip this step, but you really need to put your dry ingredients and mix them together in a bowl, because if you don't do that and you just add them to the wet ingredients, some of your, your like your salt and your baking soda or powder is going to just stick to the wet uh, and not be combined well. Okay, so we have flour. Mm -hmm. And then there's a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then if you just whisk that together, there we go. Okay. And then we're going to slowly add that to our wet ingredients. Okay, so. so I'm going to go ahead and take this spatula out here. We're going to lift that up. And you said slowly, so you don't want to do it all at once. Yeah, just add a little bit and then turn your mix around. Yeah, the big thing is you just don't want to add a whole bunch at a time because you'll have that big, you know, right. above flower, the dust plume. <laughs> We're trying to avoid that. So you just kind of make sure you're watching it. You're like, okay, that looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks mixed up. Whoa. We'll turn it off again. Uh -huh. Lift it up and finish it off. Yes, and this time I'm going to kind of scrape down the sides too because we want all of those great ingredients incorporated. All right. Okay, right so we're going to do that. And then after that gets all mixed up, we're going to add the chocolate mint. Now, I was kind of surprised, and this, kind of, this is what inspired this recipe, is finding these at the grocery store. They're carrying these all year long now. I could buy the regular candies and you know, chop them up myself, but I thought this would be a great way, just grind well, them like this. It's yeah. already chopped up. Yeah. So and there you go. They have these as well. I kind of prefer those, but they have this chocolate mint uh, chip as well. Okay, so you're going to add the whole bag? Yes, I'm just going to add the whole bag, and again on low, we're just going to mix it all up. Okay. But we're just going to pour all that in. You want to pour it all in at the same time? Is that yeah. okay? And if, if you didn't like chocolate mint, there's also like the caramel chocolate chips out there. There's so many different chips. And as long as you just take this basic recipe and then pick your chips, you are good to go. Yeah, and you can, like you said, you can add anything you want in, right. in this case. Yep. But we're making, we want to make the mint cookies. And that's done. We don't want to do it too long because we don't want that candy to get broken up. Okay. So now... We have some finished dough right here, and I have a cookie scoop. Now, this is just as easy as taking a scoop and putting it onto a pan, but instead, we are going to line a little mini muffin pan. These are pan. so cute. So this is what you, you just found, these little mini muffins. Oh, and they have them all over, from cooking stores to all the craft stores. They have all different kinds. And you could make them for different holidays, birthday, Absolutely. depending on what it is. Or let's say a shower, yeah. or you know, you're doing a dinner party anything it's just this kind of makes it more special when you present them like this so i'm just going to take about a half a scoop we don't want to overfill these and we're just going to push them into the little liners that's it this easy and it's just going to make these almost look like a little piece of candy but it just makes it a little more special i think when we do this okay and once you have them all filled mm -hmm. up then we bake them in the oven at um, 375 degrees and you have to kind of watch them. We don't want them overcooked, but about, depending on your oven, eight to 10 minutes. Okay, and that's what you're gonna end up with. Mm -hmm. And you can leave them just like this, but to make them a little more fancy, what I like to do is to get some white baking chocolate, or you can get the melting chocolate as well, whatever you like to do, whatever's more comfortable. And then I just put them in my baggie and cut a little hole. Okay, you, did you put these in the microwave to melt yes, them? Yes, I, I put them in the microwave at you know 30 minute or 30 second intervals. And, and then stir checking. it up until it gets like yeah, that. Yeah, just mush okay. it around in the bag until it gets all melted. Mm -hmm. And then I just snip off a little tip. Okay. This is so much easier than getting out the piping bag because mm -hmm. when I'm done, I'm just gonna throw this away. Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm just going to do a little design. You can do swirls, you can do anything you want to. Also, at this point, if I wanted to put sprinkles, I could put sprinkles, like if this is for a birthday party or something like that. But once you have that, 
you are done and you have a delicious treat that everybody can enjoy. All right, and you can find the recipe again, everybody, online. Just go to livingacreativelife.net.